Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today we're going to be making this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new action script. Um, I use action script 3.0. So here you have this layer and what you want to do is go to insert and click new symbol. And what we'll just do is name this symbol explosion. And we'll make sure it's on a graphic and we'll hit OK. So now that we have that, the first thing we want to do is just grab the line tool and we'll just hold shift and just draw a straight line just like that so now what we'll do is we'll just hit F5 a few times and that'll just give it some more keyframes so it just stays there for a while so now that we've got that we'll just create a new layer and what we want to do with the pencil tool is just start drawing the explosion so pretty much what this line is going to be is going to be a um, representative of the ground so we know where the ground is so it stays at the same level um, so what we'll do is we'll just draw some spikes um, just like that and then what we'll do is we'll just hit F7 and that'll create a new keyframe and we might also turn on the onion skin uh, so we just go down to this where it says onion skin and we'll just set it to go backwards one frame for now so now what we have is we want to get it to quickly go big still with spikes um might try and keep the spikes almost as if they're like that um and we'll just draw another one we'll just bring the onion skin in just so we can see only the last one and we'll just make it bigger cool f7 again and now what we want to do is we will start bringing in some um, cloudy sort of bits so you see these and we'll just make it sort of random so it's not always the same um, so obviously this isn't like perfect drawing and that's fine because it happens so quickly that you won't even notice it so now what we'll do is we'll get these bigger and just slightly smaller spikes on them and then we'll start creating sort of puffiness like that and then what we want to do is just keep going out so we've got that and then we'll just keep going okay so now that it's still sort of going up after we've drawn a few we'll just start creating little bits like I just put at the bottom so that's the cloud gradually pulling off of the ground and so then that'll just slowly get bigger maybe we'll grab another one here and then the cloud just continues to go slowly upwards so these will just gradually get bigger maybe that slow moves over and again we're just getting the clouds bigger and so obviously when drawing this um, the ideal sort of usage would be to have a tablet that you're drawing onto that's connected through to your computer I mean I'm just using a mouse and I find that works well um, but I mean that is a lot easier so now what we have is it's actually split off um, so then we'll just do this so it's actually splitting into two separate um, parts so we might make this one its own Oop. might do that and then we'll just grab that one so when you don't like a drawing just I just keep my left hand just ready on control Z because I mean I make quite a bit of mistakes and so then I can just quickly hit control Z if I don't quite like what I've just drawn so I mean I can definitely say that drawing clouds is not my forte I'm not the best at it but I mean it's just like um, my first explosion that I tried to draw it wasn't great um, and what you just do is you just build on that 
and you just slowly get better at it like it's just one of those things where um might not be very good but i mean like honestly just trying multiple ones like say you're following me in this tutorial so you can draw yours while watching this tutorial um and then i would recommend after this tutorial try creating it yourself and just try and do that a couple of times and that'll get you the best result so the main thing with these is that any parts that are sort of like at the bottom are moving quite quick and the top is moving quite slowly um, so that's the cloudy sort of more in the bottom sort of more like the rigid sort of bits that were connected so those move quite a bit quicker and the top doesn't quite move as fast okay so now that we have that we can go ahead and delete um, just all of these so if we just select all of them and then just hit clear frames now it's just going to be an empty layer and what we'll do is we will um, turn off the onion skin and so now what we're going to do is actually create a gradient and then we'll use a shape tween to um, gradually change that gradient that we're going to be creating um, to change and then we'll grab this gradient and bring it onto the explosion um, so the start we'll just go to color and we'll just go to uh, radial gradient so the start is quite oh, the start would be quite white in the center so we'll just grab that and then I think it would be like yellowy We can just drag these where we want. Um, so I think it'd be mainly white, so we can just drag that up a bit more. So that looks pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll find a good point, probably here. We'll just hit F6, so that'll create a new keyframe, but still keep what's here so it do doesn't create a blank keyframe. Um, and then we'll just create a new gradient. So we'll probably have more of an orangey now. And to a uh, red maybe a dark mm, I reckon that's pretty good mainly orange yep so just looking here and just sort of think of what an explosion would look like so I can here we'll start oh, F6 here we'll start getting a bit darker so we'll set this one to a red and then darker red and we'll set this to like a darker grey with a bit of red in it yep and we'll go here f6 and again we'll just go through and choose some colors that we think work best and then here i can all get a bit more lightish sort of gray so we'll set that to a dark red again and we'll set this to a bit of a lighter gray just as it's mainly smoke I might just put that the other way around oh. and if you want to delete one what you can just do is click and drag it off just like that so we'll just grab that I can be mainly grey so probably that's pretty good we might just make this a bit darker yep okay so now with this we just want to go ahead and select all of these keyframes that we want the shape tween and we'll just right click and then we'll just go to create shape tween so now what this does if you look at this as I scroll through it actually um, changes automatically through the different gradients that we have selected and set as keyframes okay we might actually just drag that one to the end and we'll just remove these okay so now that we've got this um, gradient that's changing automatically what we want to do is just click and drag over all of these keyframes of the layer that is the gradient and we'll just right click and then what we can do is convert to keyframes so now what it does is it actually takes those keyframes and sets them into keyframes so now with this what we can do is um, we'll grab the eyedropper tool or you can just hit I 
and we'll just select this color so now it does it actually selects that color and we'll just go down here and unlock the fill and we'll make sure it's set to close large gaps so now what that'll do is if there's any gaps in this explosion it'll actually close it and still fill so now with that what we can do is just um, click and then it actually puts that gradient in there you can slightly see these yellow here so now we can just hit the period key and that'll bring us forward one frame or we can hit comma to go backwards one and we will just repeat this process so we'll just hit I select that color and I know it's going to be annoying but you're going to have to um, click this lock fill so it doesn't lock the fill each time so pretty much what this thing is is if it's locked and then you place it in there it's actually taking this gradient from here so it's using where this gradient was set and just selecting it to there so we don't want that so we're going to have to unlock that each time um, so mainly near the start we're going to want it to be near the bottom like middle because um, that will work best So then when it splits into the two, obviously you'll just have to select and just um, put the colour into all of the ones that are split. So sometimes you may find that it doesn't work and um, so there's probably a gap that's too big and it doesn't want to close it. So what you can just do is just hold control, find the edge and then we can just bring it and put it onto that. Oh, we want to put it here and we'll just keep going okay so now that that's all complete what you can do is select your layer that the gradient is don't accidentally delete the explosion and we'll just hit this delete icon just to delete that gradient because we don't need it anymore um, so we'll just select these blank keyframes and we can just hit remove keyframe so now we have this explosion However, with this explosion, what isn't good is this stroke. So what we can do is just hit the onion skin, and we'll just drag this onion. Oh, we'll just drag this onion skin to select all of them. So now what we can do is just hit Edit Multiple Frames, and then we'll just grab the um, cursor, and we'll just click and drag over all of this. So now what we have is in this Properties panel, we have Fill and Stroke. And we can just go to the stroke and we can just double click and we'll just go to no stroke. So now that looks pretty cool um, but you can just unselect that and we'll just hit enter and we have our own explosion now. So again if you need to move any parts upwards you can just um, go into edit multiple frames and you can just move them all um, up. So say we want it to be centered with this we can do that so just unselect that so now that we have this what we want to do is click on scene one and you might be like oh no where to go but um don't worry it's just in this library tab if you don't have it you can just go to window and just open up your library and we'll just click and drag this explosion in which is what i named it so now that we have this what we want to do is just hit q and we'll just scale it down a bit so now we've got that we can just hold f5 for a bit just so it has that a bit longer and that looks pretty cool so now what we have is this explosion so we can just hit enter and just see that and then we can just move it down if it's not quite in the right spot um, so this can be if you're uh, you have you have a bomb animation that you want the bomb to go off and obviously like it's doesn't look like a real um, explosion it's a cartoon explosion um, so that'll be where the bomb sort of is and it'll explode and which is why we've got the ground here so it looks more realistic um, so I hope you liked this tutorial I hope you found it helpful and you're able to make your own explosion remember um, you're not going to be able to make a perfect one in your first try I know this one definitely isn't perfect it was just a uh, pretty quick one. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.